Hi, this is Maria Lane, and I have the reveal for the image that I uploaded the other day. Now, um, inside this picture that you can see on the screen, there is nine messages embedded. Um, and I'm trusting my intuition here. I'm not going to be calling on cards to guide me. I'm just going to see what flows through to me. So if you're open to leaving feedback as to whether this resonates with you or not, um, I'd love to hear. Okay, so here we go. So we have this image with nine different little symbols with the sun, the giraffe, the blue bird of happiness, this happy looking tiger, we've got the beautiful elephant, eagle, toucan, and the tree. Oh, and here, here is the snake. So I'm going to start over here um, on with the sun. And if you were drawn to this image, what came to me was that you're very warm that you like to light up and I think that you're very empathic and you um, are here to help other people and you shine your warmth wherever you go but sometimes it could be to your detriment I feel that you possibly give you overgive and um, don't get much in return so just be mindful of that if that's going on in your world it's all about balance and making sure that you know there is an equal exchange of energy between people so if you can be a little bit of an oversharer um, just rein it in a little bit <laughs> and see what um, comes back to you so oh here we go thank you universe and now if you were drawn to the giraffe you know i was walking this morning with my dog bonnie and for some reason the giraffe image came into my head and it says you need to stretch yourself more you have to do what the giraffe is doing you know reaching as high as you possibly can go and i feel that you you might be playing small or that you have some sort of fear that's actually blocking you from you know taking the next step so the giraffe is saying stretch stretch and it could be a physical stretch too you know perhaps take up some yoga or some sort of exercise where you're being guided to really expand yourself your muscles um, so that's what the giraffe has got on offer for you now the blue bird of happiness this little one up here so cute um, this is one I feel that is like a, a nursing person someone who's really you know nurturing very nurturing style very nurturing person energy um, and you're offering you know a little bit like the sun but to a lesser degree but you are being guided to focus on your happiness first you know it's like the air hostess analogy that you've probably heard many times with the flight attendant you know take care of your needs first then you can go out and help other people with their happiness but there's a gift on its way to you and it's going to be totally unexpected because there's a lot of um, uranium energy in the air at the moment so just be um, prepared for this unexpected surprise of a pleasant nature coming to you okay so now we're going to jump down to this little figure <laughs> fella here the tiger who's absolutely adorable I love this image I feel that you're um, this is hiding you're not allowing your true nature to shine there's this bravado that's going on but inside there's just this there's a conflict of emotions going on here um, that you're not really being who you are a people pleaser see there's a there's probably a bit of a theme going on with all of these animals here but you are braver and you have more courage than you give yourself credit for so again it's time to step up and step out and show people your unique stripes okay so now we're going to move across to the elephant this is the um, the symbol of community and if you were drawn to the elephant there's a lot of strength within you and that you are probably seen as um, the matriarch of your little community and that people are actually calling upon your your guidance right now so be be prepared 
to be the the nurturer for a little while especially with the um there's going to be a lot of confusion going on in the next few weeks it's just the way that the planets are at the moment we'll get through all of this together but yeah people are going to flock or your family more so will flock to you and look for some guidance okay now we're moving on to the tree if you're drawn to the tree this is you know the grounding icon this is you know the tree is like so stable and secure in most in instances sometimes trees can fall over you know their roots become unstable and they're, they're not as solid as what they appear above the surface but this to me i love trees for the strength that they offer the shade that they provide um, they symbiotic relationship between us and the environment you know we can't live without trees and trees can't live without us so i feel that you know there's a lot of you're being called upon to provide a lot of support to your family and all your friends or your colleagues and sometimes it can be a little draining so my guidance is find your tree and just spend some time reconnecting you know i love i haven't done it for a while but there's some beautiful big morton bay fig trees just in, um, a few blocks away from me and to sit amongst those roots and just really feel that connection to get grounded again and to get that healing energy and also the wisdom that comes from within the tree you know have that telepathic conversation with the tree and ask for some guidance or support and see what comes back to you okay so now sorry i've been looking at the image and not at you um we're going to move across to the toucan now to me the toucan is the voice it's really asking you to speak your truth you know you've got a, a unique perspective a bit like the eagle above where you can see a little bit more than the average person you know i feel that you're probably a little bit more connected to spiritual ways than those around you but the words aren't coming out very easily so I feel, you know, take a little bit of the tree energy and sit there, get connected, and then speak your truth from your heart. Remember um, about the throat chakra, align that first, because words spoken in anger can't be retracted, and they're, they're like daggers that, or, or arrows. They can wound, and sometimes people can't, that, that scar is there forever. So just speak with love. And also at the same time, if someone's speaking to you in a manner that's not acceptable, just put up that rubber shield and put that blockage between you and that person and let those words just bounce off. Don't take them on board. But the toucan to me today is all about communication both ways and just be mindful of what's coming in or actually going out. The snake, the little one down there. To me, this is the, the symbol of being prepared to face your fears full on. You know, the snake, whilst on the surface looks like it's going to, it's out to get us, it's going to kill us, it's going to strike, um, and so therefore we're very fearful of this creature. But, you know, in reality, that snake's just as, scared, as much scared of us as we are of them, and they would only lash out to us if they feel threatened. So I think that this this message is to really look at your fears ask yourself what are you really protecting yourself from and see if you can release it because there's the universe is actually supporting you right now to let go of some of those fears and if you can actually acknowledge them and then just say well, you know what it's all in my head it really doesn't exist it's just something that i've manifested in my life based on some experience in the past that i've actually brought through to this point now and I don't need it anymore okay now the final one here the eagle and if you didn't pick the eagle well I think this is the message for us all here that we are being guided to take that the bird's eye view of the world and life take a broader perspective don't get so immersed in the, the minute details and the drama and the turmoil that could be going on. This is all part of a bigger picture. 
It's part of a plan that we actually chose to be a part of. And we will get through this together. And yeah, just be mindful that you're not engaging in unnecessary conflict or um, what's the other word? Or fear. So we've got a little bit of everything going on in the eagle here. So, you know, shine your light brightly on your wall, stretch yourself. See, there's a lot of happiness to be had here. You know, the tiger, the courage and the, the community of the elephant, you know, the voice of the toucan and the strength of the bird and facing your fears with the, the snake. The eagle here puts it all together and shows us from a, a new perspective that, you know, what is actually going on and that we can actually move through all of our fears and, and whatever we're facing with, with confidence and knowing that, you know, we are on our way to a, I dare I say I'm going out on a limb here, <laughs> a, a utopia that, you know, we are going to actually discover over the next few years what really is going on behind the scenes? We are in that transition phase right now of moving from the third to the fifth dimension with love and and what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, compassion, empathy. We're going to actually find ourselves in a new world, um, not a new world order, a new world where we all live together. And I'm so excited because, you know, <laughs> that song, This is the Dawning of the Age of Aquarius, we are there. We are actually there, and I think it's on the 21st of December this year, Saturn and Jupiter together move into Aquarius, and we've only got one more planet to go, and that's Pluto, and that happens in 2024, and then we will be living in the age of Aquarius, you know, community, um, harmony, intelligence, um, Uranus who governs Aquarius, you know, IT, and and things that we can't actually fathom at the moment. So, you know, we are going to see a completely different world and that's pretty exciting. But anyway, I've, I've digressed. Okay, um, I hope this message sits with you, um, please. If it doesn't, let it go. No problem at all. Okay, thanks everyone. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.